Hi, I'm Yvette Rios, and I'm gonna make an edible centerpiece for my Thanksgiving table. It's gonna be a charcuterie board, but I'm gonna add something special, and it's going to be an edible cornucopia. It sounds like a lot of work, but I promise you, it's super easy. So I'm starting with refrigerated pizza crust. I'm just gonna kind of stretch it into a nice rectangular shape. And then I'm just gonna use a pizza cutter, and I'm gonna cut strips about an inch thick. Now these don't have to be perfect because when you braid it together, it's gonna cover up all the unevenness. This is such a fun activity to get the kids involved in. You can do the cutting into the strips and they can help with the braids. Now that this one's done, I'm gonna start wrapping it around the form that I made out of aluminum foil. This is also something fun that the kids can help with. Pretty easy to ball up aluminum foil. I always loved it as a kid. Okay, I'm gonna start here at the tail of our cornucopia. And then we just kind of wrap it around. Now when I start my next strip, I'm just gonna use a little toothpick to kind of hold it in place. You wanna press it together, but you also wanna skewer it in place like that. And now I'm just gonna keep wrapping it. So I'm gonna take my one last braid and just drape it right over the top. So now I'm gonna bake this for 15 to 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Now, since oven temperatures vary, you probably wanna check it in 10. Hey, look at that, you guys, how beautiful. Now, once this cools, you can go ahead and take the aluminum foil right out. Now, I'm leaving a little bit right in there because that will help hold the form. And then I'm gonna take out my toothpicks. Since this is going to be the centerpiece of my Thanksgiving table, I chose a nice big tray to make my charcuterie board. You wanna think about color when you're putting together your board and just sort of pop it all over. Some olives. And then I've got my salami flour here. This was super easy. Just take the salami, kind of fan it out inside of a ramekin. And then I've got some pepidus here. Grab these little baby breeze. Look at how adorable they are. And then I've got some crackers. Got some cornichon. I'm gonna put them right over here. I love having dried fruit. These apricots are gonna be so beautiful. And I love how beautiful sliced oranges are. Got some Marcona almonds here. I'm just gonna add some pomegranates. I think they look so luscious. And then maybe some more grapes. Put this one here. You know, and if you're having trouble figuring out where to start when you're putting together a board like this, you can always reach out to your Hy-Vee cheese specialist. They know everything there is to know about cheese. They'll pick out some seasonal ones, like this one is a cranberry. There's some manchego, which is a staple. It's available year round. And make sure to always have a cheddar for people who might be a little bit intimidated about all the new cheeses. Okay, let's go put our centerpiece down. And this is not just a beautiful centerpiece, it's also a great place for your guests to start while you're finishing dinner. And then when you take this out, you've got the perfect place to set down your main course. I hope this helps you and happy holidays.